Tonight on Freaks in the Wild, join Tom Wilde as he navigates the mud bogs of Bonjwimbia in search of his ultimate goal, the abominable sleeping cap. Will he find it this time? I don't know. You could just write him fan mail to find out. But he probably wouldn't get it considering he's running around in the wilderness all the time. Who knows when he's even home to receive fan mail. So just watch the episode. That's probably the best way to find out. Enjoy! I'm Tom Wild. Welcome back to Freaks in the Wild. Now yeah, I'm still out here, still looking for the abominable sleeping cap and all the other freaks in the wild. Of course, this time I'm in Bonge Wimbia. I've been out here so long that my hair is starting to look like I'm a Neanderthal man. Well, this is a rather disgusting place. Not many people come to Bonge Wimbia. Those that do, I guess they must litter. Especially weird things. Like, what is this? McDonald's chicken sandwiches, large fries, storage shed, car tune-up, battery post scrubber. This looks like a to-do list. Well, I hope whoever lost that isn't too forgetful. Of course, why else would you write a to-do list? Of course, they could probably end up in the middle of nowhere and get lost because they wouldn't know where they were going. Like, what was I supposed to do? That's right, I was supposed to go out in the middle of nowhere and pick up some rotten TVs. What's this? I have no idea. Is it like a white? A white? I want to take this with me. Ew. What's this? Broken glass. Yeah. It's another bucket. It's not a freak. That's a freak. Is that a mop? What kind of a person throws a mop out in the middle of nowhere? Well, there's a mop for the bucket? Looks like somebody just stuck a bunch of hair on a stick. That's disgusting. You know, a lot of times I keep what I find as a souvenir. I'm not keeping that. Take this with me. Oh my gosh, another one. <laughs> That's got to be a weight or something. You know? You know what I mean? Get those later. Oh, of course, there's a tire. Ew. And a rather disgusting tote bag. Yeah. Looks like somebody was having a whiskey fest or something out here. Yeah. Now there's just all kinds of stuff out here. Look at this. It's a TV. And another TV. It's a small screenless TV. And look. It's all around a giant mud bog. What the heck? You put a mud bog out here. It's like floating with crap. There's a piece of a crawdad. Now that's it's that's not a freak in the wild. That's natural. I'm sinking in the mud. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Is that a little red wagon? Check that out. It's so. I gotta dig this up. We're gonna find out that this is a little red wagon. Yeah, it hits me in the head, and that's rude. Let's throw a stick instead. I don't know what it is yet. I don't think it's a little red wagon. It's definitely a little red something. Well, it took a little longer than I thought it would since I didn't have a shovel, but thanks to my trusted cameraman Pierre Tilmata, we finally got it out enough that I think we're about to find out where this freak is. 
And let me tell you, he's definitely a freak. He's heavy. Really heavy. Looks like a trough. Or not. Got a wire hooked to it. Weird. It's not a trough. It's not a little red wagon. Definitely a little red something. Little red something that weighs an awful lot. Wow, that's a freak. I mean, usually I even know what the freaks are. There, I do not know what is. Like, what is this? I have no idea. But I'm definitely going to have to have a crane or something to come and pick this up for me. I have to telephone them. Get him down here. That is really a freak. Crikey. There's a phone. I could dial him right now. If I can find the rest of it. There it is. <laughs> Barry's the cord to their phone. I think I broke it. I might have a little hot wiring, we can hook it right back up. And just for all Ghostbusters or something, you know? Well, this guy's going, dude. I don't know. Call him. And a speaker. Look, check this out. Some rocker come out here to this mud bog and decide to, like, you know, jam out a little bit. Or maybe a rock hater threw a speaker out in the mud to destroy it. Oh, that's a loathsome. That's terrible. That's just downright evil. Uh, uh, damn, man, it's muddy out here. Uh, disgusting. Oh my gosh. Check this out. It's like a. Looks like somebody lost a walker in here. Like some old lady was walking down here, got stuck in the mud. I like to think of what happened. Uh, that's, that's a telltale sign right there, look at that. Just walking and, and things happen. Uncontrollable. Come on. Right, moving, moving on. There yeah, are more freaks in the wild to find in Bonjuin, yeah. I better go this way. Now that, that's a freak. Is that a radio? Yeah, that's a volume knob, but we can like turn it up and whatever that is. And hey, look at this. It's complete with a Sony home theater setup disc. Who throws a radio in the middle of nowhere in Bonjuimbia? That's so inconsiderate. There's got to be more rock haters, or music haters. There's a lot of music haters in Bond Beer. How inconsiderate. Wish it worked. People. Oh, this mud. This mud is terrible. It's like mud everywhere. I think that Bond Dreambier must be known for its mud bogs. Is they everywhere. Oh, that's a freak. What kind of a road can cone would be sitting out here? Who put a road cone out here? Full of dirt. Like, was there like a construction site out here or something? Something like, you know. What's there to construct? Now this is awesome. I'm going to take this home, use it for something creative, like blocking people out of my driveway. <laughs> so, uh, I found this golf ball. I 
don't know if it's of any significance to anything. And I thought it was kind of strange that you'd find a golf ball out here in the middle of nowhere. Like people like play golf out here? I mean seriously. That's a cash register. I don't know what it's doing out here. You know what that makes it, right? A freak in the wild. Crazy, right? A whole dang cash register. Well, actually, it's not the whole dang thing because it's missing the drawer. Too bad I was helping I'd find some spare change. And that, well, that's a big barrel thingy. I don't know what it is. It looks kind of like a milk jug. Like one of those ancient milk things that people like put milk in, you know what I mean? Weird. That's a freak. That's a freak. That's a freak. That's a freak. That's like a motor. It's like something just wrecked here or something. I don't get it. Like a small ATV was just driving along and just got stuck in the mud or something. Like, really, who leaves their ATV motor out here? Or whatever that is. This place is weird. Oh my goodness. Oh, I do not like this place. I gotta get out of here as fast as possible. It's just like tripping houses everywhere. Everywhere. And golf clubs. Wait. There's a golf club right here. Look at this. There's a golf club in the middle of nowhere. I guess people do play golf out here. And golf balls to top it off. In a mud bog, I mean, I, I totally understand why they left it here, but definitely a freak in the wild. Now I had to like myself some good golf, even if like, it wasn't worth anything. Well, this is a freak worth remembering. I'm gonna take this home. Here's another bucket. This place is as bad with buckets as Zabakirki. That was actually a flower pot, but it was still close enough to a bucket. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It's a fire extinguisher. What's a fire extinguisher doing out in the middle of nowhere? And by what used to be a lake? What are they planning on doing? Putting the water out? Wow, well, that is a freak in the wild. It's not every day you find a fire extinguisher by a lake in the middle of nowhere. That is worth remembering. So I built a, a bridge across this stream using some things, not freaks, but things typically found in the wild, namely tires and boards, and we're forging the stream with them. See, um, cameraman had to get over first. And then, so now we gotta get over like this. And it's just like that, simple piece of cake. Bushwhacking is not fun. You know, sometimes you just have to beat around the bush. Eh. Holy macaroni and tuna fish, now this is a sight. Is this like a stage in the middle of nowhere? Who puts a huge stage on a desolate island in the middle of nowhere? Rock haters. More of those music haters. They're everywhere in, here in Bonjuimbia. Just throw it out here so no one can play on it ever again. Well, I have news for them. I am going to king, bring some of my mates out here and we're going to play on this stage. That's right. Music haters shall not win. Oh, this is so exciting. So exciting. 
I can't wait to tell my mates back home. And the cameraman is even more excited than I am. Wow, wow. Just music lovers, this is a breakthrough. Let me tell you what, this is a freak in the wild. A freak of freaks. Not the freak of freaks, but a freak of freaks. This is definitely rare. Definitely not something you just find in an average sewer pond or desolate island. I think I shall call Bon Chouimbier the sewer pond of the world. Muddy, disgusting, and smelly. Now that's not dirt. That is a mini helo. It's like some little kid just lost their helicopter out here in the middle of nowhere. That's sad for them. It's also a great souvenir. And a freak. Which really makes it really good for this show. It's camouflage. It's freaky. It's in the wild. It's lost. And... I'm going to take it back to civilization. I am getting out of Montreal. It is a mud bog. It is disgusting. And it's time for the show to be over. So, I am Tom Wild. Thanks for joining us in Freaks in the Wild. Join us again next time as I continue to look for the abominable sleeping cap. The ultimate freak in the wild. Thank you very much.